Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do improved face detection. Okay, we're going to you install a uh, face recognition library in MTCNN. But we're not going to be doing face recognition. This time we're going to be doing improved. I remember in a previous video a long time ago I did face detection, but it was a lot more coding and I'm going to show you guys something more simpler. Okay, so after you install, import those libraries. Okay. Yeah, import these libraries after you've installed this, of course. Well, um... You have two choices, CV2 IM Show or Matplotlib, but we're going to be using Matplotlib. Because remember, you need the CV2 IM Show if you're using uh, Google Colab, if you're going to show an image using CV2. Otherwise, you can show it Matplotlib, like I'll show you. Detector, the first picture is Detector, um, MTCNN, the first library we imported. Okay, image. Well, we can nickname this image one equals face recognition load the first file. Then detect the faces. And then within face for face in face locations, put a box, landmarks, key points, CV2 rectangle. Image. Okay, now show the image. There's the first one. Now we're going to go to the second. Be sure to change everything to two afterwards, including for face and face locations. Image two. Don't change this, of course. These are the libraries. And don't forget this one, too. Okay, sometimes you need to adjust this parameter right here depending on the size of the picture. Remember, this is width and height and x. You see those numbers? Okay, now let's show image two. There's Charlie Sheen. Now, if you do C map equals gray, that gets rid of the blue color that CV2 sometimes shows. And guys, uh, sometimes uh, if the binding box is a little um, small, that's because it has to do with the size of the picture. Like, let's say you change this to 285, then you might get a false uh, prediction and get two boxes, and it'll hit somewhere else. So you need to experiment with that a little bit, or just use your little logic. Okay. That's it, you guys. Okay, next video, we're going to do a convolutional neural network. After that, we're going to get back on the cloud. Be sure to check out my previous video also on um, IBM Watson, the deploying a machine learning model, the eight-part clip. Thank you, guys.